the Golden State Warriors barely lost to the Sacramento Kings last night, 134 to 133. So what exactly happened? Sacramento Kings were up 75 to 72. Second half, 59 points for the Sacramento Kings, 61 for the, the Golden State Warriors. And I'm going to go over the last two minutes of the game real fast. And I cannot memorize every single sequence. So that's why I had to move, uh, look down some. All right. We're on 151 left. Stephen Curry made a five foot two point jump shot. So the Sacramento Kings were up 132 to 129. We're on thir one minute, 32 seconds left. Harrison Barnes. From the Sacramento Kings missed a 17 put, foot two point shot, but Draymond Green got the offense uh, defensive rebound with 128 left. But Jonathan Kuminga made a three foot alley oop dunk assisted by Stephen Curry, so it was 132 to 131 at that point. Draymond Green fouled with 110 left, but 103 left. De De Aaron Fox missed a step back 27 foot step back jump shot for the Sacramento Kings. Around 59.1 seconds left, Jonathan Kumunga got the defensive board. And 51.1 seconds, King, Keegan Murray blocked Stephen Curry's three-foot driving layup, which the Warriors got, got the offensive rebound. But 47.1 seconds, Jonathan Kumunga made a two-foot dunk, dunk assisted by Draymond Green. So 133 to 132 at the time. 35.1 seconds, De'Aaron Fox missed a 10-foot pull-up shot. But 30.1 seconds, Keegan Murray got the offensive board. Kevin Huter missed a 26-foot three-point shot, 28 seconds left. The Kings got the offensive board. But 22 seconds left, DeMontis Sab Sabonis made a three-foot dunk, assisted by Kevin Huter. So 134 to 133, and the Warriors called timeout. And 17.1 seconds, Harrison Barnes from the Sacramento Kings blocked Jonathan Kumunga's five foot driving layup, and he got the he got the defensive rebound. But Jonathan Kumunga had to foul with 15 seconds left. Kevin Hooter missed both free throws. At that point, 12.1 seconds, Clay, Clay Thompson got the defensive board. In point one seconds, Stephen Curry lost the ball out of bounds, which Darion Fox stole the ball, and it was that was a game. So now I'm going to go over stats for the game for those who care, and I cannot memorize everything on the stat sheet. All right. Points off turnovers favored the Golden State Warriors, 12 to 11, but fast break points 18 to 12 in favor of Sacramento Kings. Points in the paint, paint favor. The Golden State Warriors, 52 to 40. Some other stats were the following. Okay, the Golden State Warriors did not shoot the ball bad in this game. 55.8% from the field on 86 attempts. 51.4% on threes on 37 attempts. 78.3% on free throws on 23 attempts. 33 rebounds, 6 of those offensive, 30 assists, 7 steals, 3 blocks, 13 turns, 19 fouls, and how many points off the bench? 5 plus 31, that's 36, plus 6, that's 42, plus 7, that's... Whew, 49 points off the bench. And they did have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 double digit scores, I combined 4. Okay, okay, 4 plus 5, that's 9 plus... 6, that's 15, plus 22. I mean, 7, that's 22. So, 4, that's 5, 15, 22. So, 111 points combined for those five players. Yeah, I decided to add up all the non-double digit scores, and it, it doesn't include two other players with six or more points in this game. They combined for 13, 6 plus 7. Now, the Kings did have, okay, 8 plus 10, that's 18, plus 4, that's 22 bench points. And six double digit scores have combined for. Okay. 
a plus four that's that's 12 that's 122 points right there and it doesn't include one other player with six or more points with eight so they did have more balance and they, sh they didn't shoot the ball as good as Golden State Warriors but close 52.7 percent from the field on 91 attempts 45.8 percent on on threes on 48 attempts 84.2 percent on free throws on 19 attempts 34 rebounds eight of those offensive 33 assists eight steals five blocks 10 turnovers 21 fouls so the Golden State Warriors what's the next five games and I'm going to go over that for the Kings as well real fast they got the Los Angeles Lakers Golden State Warriors do at home Philadelphia 76ers at home Memphis Grizzlies on the road and on the road to Atlanta Hawks then on the road of Brooklyn Net Nets so I'm I'm double checking that mess yeah that's what I thought so now the Sacramento Kings what's the next five games Gotta go on the road to Dallas Mavericks, then go on the road to Memphis Grizzlies, on the road to Miami Heat. Then you gotta go on the road to Indiana Pacers, then you gotta go on the road to Chicago Bulls. Man, that's a lot of road games in a row. And it doesn't even include one other road game after that at cleveland so yeah you got a lot of road games coming up so anyways if you like this content hit the like and subscribe button. i see you guys later on a road of 600 subscribers across ultimate goal it's a thousand more so i'm being money out this course like in the video comment video it really helps youtube background so more people can see it sharing the video does help as well so more people can watch and if you're watching and not subscribe hit subscribe button it's free to the notification bell as well